Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video, we are gonna be checking out the Pictech Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Thanks to Pictech for sending out this product for review, we're just checking it out. It's not a sponsored video, but they did send it out for review. So on Amazon, you can find this keyboard for about 40 bucks and this keyboard does have a lot of things going for it. It's full size, it's mechanical, and you do have some RGB customizations that you can do. The switches that it uses are some content blue switches. They're pretty similar to like a cherry blue or kale or Gatoron. It's basically just a little bit of a louder and clicky tactile switch. If you wanted to, you could also swap out the keycaps on this too. You do have like a lot of built-in shortcuts that you could see on all of the keys that are printed. There's a ton of stuff that you could do with this. So if you are really good at multitasking or you wanna become better at multitasking, all you have to do is hold down the function key and press one of the keys in the F row or on the gaming keys, or you can even use the volume adjustments that they have on the right. You can use those keys to adjust all of your media settings, your shortcuts, you have a calculator button if you ever need a calculator. If you hold the function key and use the arrow keys you can adjust the speed and brightness of the rgb effects or if you use the screen log and home keys you can use the different rgb modes and go through all those different modes now unfortunately this rgb is not fully adjustable they do have everything broken up into zones so you'll have like a purple a green a yellow a red a blue rgb zone but it's not like fully customizable like you would have with a more expensive keyboard but honestly for 40 bucks it is still really good you get a mechanical keyboard with a ton of customization you can change out the keycaps and everything and the only thing that i will say about it is that the stabilizers are kind of okay but you know at the same time because the keyboard is not really that expensive i wouldn't expect them to have the best stabilizers but other than that it's a pretty good deal for 40 bucks if you're just getting started with gaming and you're looking for something to get you into pc Maybe you just spent a ton of money on your new rig and you are scraping for cash for a new keyboard and mouse. I would say that this is a pretty good option. But all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you guys have any questions further that I didn't answer in this video, feel free to leave a comment or to join the Discord and we can talk further there. But yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video.